Ready? Jenny's taking the picture, so jumping in for MP. Thanks for that, because I'm here at the um, Zen Monastery from Hinak. I just open the questions and go. And the first question is the hardest one. When is your book about new work coming out? Yeah, oh my God. We promised we'll be ready at Christmas. We have 300 pages, but we realized we didn't go through this process of like, how do you design a book? How do you think about it? And we wanted to learn something from writing. That's why we started it actually. We challenged that with um, book professionals um, that help to produce books. And we went through a workshop so we're now in actually the mode of restarting that process. We will use the pages that we have written and you will see something from that soon, I promise, but we will restart the process of the book. Cold calling is dead, so how do you acquire new customers? I love sales, but people associate sales with the wrong term and cold calling with the wrong term. They associate cold calling with you called someone and you want to sell them something, you want to press it, you really want it. And I see a great salesperson as someone who finds out what the other person really wants and helps them. So this is more about asking the right questions and then making, like giving support. So um, this is how I see it. So how do I acquire new clients? Um, many different ways. Often people call, they see something, they hear something. I don't talk about work all the time, but I really love my work and what we do. So they usually call us and I'm completely fine with sending out a mail asking like is there anything we can support um, or from time to time call someone and ask them how are you doing like what's what's on your mind right now what's going on but i always ask is that the right time to interrupt so um i would say it's a mixture of marketing very honest interest to help other people that's how we see sales what's the story about the name black boat well that's a good question because we actually made a movie about that question so check out that movie if you ask that question because uh there is a story behind it. Day one, Black Bolt versus Black Bolt today. What is the difference, the biggest change? Is Black Bolt today what you envision at day one? Short answer, no. <laughs> it's not the same thing, not at all, because it started as a holding company for my other company. And then we started to like do consulting and stuff around it. And then we realized that we are, some, we are onto something when we talk about um, new work, about cloud tools, but forming that towards new work and the cloud tools was a process. And it didn't start it from day one with that clarity of what we want to do. So we found our why later. So going the way and actually do something was more important than to envision in the very beginning what we wanted to do. That was it, I guess. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Yeah, so these were the questions so far as I can see for this week. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. No. 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 Backlight. Front light. Off light. What the fucking fuck?